Okay, testing. <sighs> Shreds are coming. Good morning. It is uh, three weeks out, I think, from my first show. I have been really slack on the whole vlogging and prepping thing. Life is just crazy. I'm just getting ready for work right now. Look at the cute new pants I got. They're one set and they are, oh, they're so cute. Yeah, I'm just doing my meal prep. I had my check-in this morning and I think, I think things are progressing. I think things are moving. It's getting exciting. I had a new low weigh-in on Sunday. Um, so I think things are definitely moving in the right direction. However, I did ask hypothetically, how low could my calories go? And um, Scott rewarded me with a hypothetically, let's make this a reality and um, let's put your calories down a little bit more. So that's what I get for asking, honestly. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just, I want to come in the best condition I've ever come in. And to do that, I feel like I need to push it a little bit more. And so I feel like I need to, I need to challenge myself and just eat really, really like clean and low calorie for a couple of weeks leading up to this first show. So that way I can honestly see what I'm capable of. I would rather lose food than have to do more cardio. So right now I'm just doing some shredded chicken. Um, I do this in the mornings and I like get my lunch for work ready, but I also do my dinner at the same time just because then I can come home and it's like already portioned out and I don't even have to think. Um, and then we're going to do cauliflower rice. I've been buying this in bulk from Costco and it's, it's does the job. <laughs> I would say it tastes good, but it definitely doesn't. Cauliflower is not my favorite vegetable, that's for sure. But you know, we get some bulk and fiber and health and whatnot from something like this. You might be able to hear it in my voice as well right now, but I'm a little bit sick and I kind of asked, should I be pushing it? Should I keep on like, you know, pushing my sessions and keeping up the cardio and stuff like that? Or should I just like take a break? Um, and he kind of agreed a couple of days off wouldn't kill me. So I'm gonna still hit my steps for this week at least. Um, but you know, if I wake up and I'm dying like tomorrow morning or something like that, I'm not going to do a proper session. I'm just gonna uh, try and recover and try and recover quicker so I can get back to it quicker. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my God. We've got the Chang's super low calorie, you know, like konjac noodles, Con konjac, yeah. Konjac noodles, I do half for lunch and half for dinner. Delicious. They probably have the best texture of all of the different brands, the Chang's ones. And then I also tend to add like lettuce and, or random like vegetable, like cabbage and stuff like that to this, but I don't have any in the fridge right now. I need to go to Coles. So I'm just gonna take it looking real plain. And if this doesn't bring back prep memories, I don't know what does. Um, the Chang's crispy noodle salad dressing is, oh, it's my favorite. It's such a good low calorie source and it tastes so good and you don't need a lot of it to get like good flavor. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. Oh no. All right, I need to buy more of that too. We're five grams down. All right, I'm gonna need to buy more of that too. Like I said, I'm gonna go to Coles today and put some more vegetables on top of this. And it's a really filling, I got Nord Burger last night and I'm so jealous, so don't mind that. Uh, I've had a few questions on Instagram about what supplements I take, so I thought I would just quickly run you through it as I'm getting them ready for the day. First thing I have in the morning before I go to the gym is Oxy Shred. This is like my go-to. I've pretty much had a scoop of this every single day for the last like eight or nine years. Like it's been a long, long time. So I have that every morning with a scoop of creatine. Um, I take like five-ish grams just of scoop every single day. Um, and then for my... 
and I don't personally have any pre-workout. I just have that and possibly a monster as well. I say possibly, definitely. <laughs> I have a monster as well. Uh, so I have Oxy Shred and a monster. Um, and that keeps me going for my workout as well as helps, you know, suppress hunger a little bit as well. Lots of caffeine, all that kind of good stuff. Then when I get home, I have gut performance. This honestly has helped me so much. If you've prepped before, you might know that your digestion just like sucks. Like you're eating such a small amount of food and I feel like all the kind of like gut health supplements and things like that that I've taken in the past, I don't necessarily notice like an actual difference um, or like taking greens powders and things like that. I feel like I just take them for the sake of taking them, not necessarily seeing any results. This, I swear to God, like immediate results. So I have my little EHP shaker cup and I do a scoop of that and then wow this thing is the best it's so good for um supplements that have like fiber and stuff like that in it because uh they're thicker and they have you know a grainy texture so that shakes it up so nicely um i do have an ehp code by the way guys all my codes are always linked in my description but my ehp labs code is lollipop star and you can save some money if you buy EHP products. Yeah, so I have this every morning. <sighs> they also stock EHP at MJ Fitness, so you can use my code Lollipop there as well. So you can you can buy all kinds of things, all kinds of places with my code. Delicious. It actually tastes good as well, by the way. The um the black currant flavor tastes really good. Next, I have this giant bottle that I got from Amazon. Pretty much everything I own is from Amazon. And I put some glutamine in there. This is an EHP one. So I put a little a little scoop of glutamine in my water. If you know me, you know I don't like the taste of water. So I have Beyond BCAAs as well. These are again EHP, the mandarin flavor, and the peach rings, this one here. Oh, they are so amazing. I also have the dragon fruit one. That one I always have to do two scoops instead of one because it's not as strong in flavor. Beyond BCAAs, every single day in my water. And number one, it makes me drink more water. But number two, then I also get BCAAs in my day. And um, yeah, I think that's it. That's pretty much all the, those are the supplements I take. In case you were curious. We're posing in a bikini today. It's low key at my gym in a bikini. Doesn't feel weird at all. I expect it. Once it's in your mind, it's infectious. So fight for your life and reject it. You better give me space, I'm protective. My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened. And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive. Cause when there's no exit, I'll kill when I'm desperate.